We're recording. Yay. Now it's time to read a new book. All right. We're going to... I feel like... We'll, we'll, we'll do it in between episodes then. We'll go back to the ship page and look at it between episodes. Because I feel like there's got to be something more. So if we find anything more... Anything more if, if you see like an episode 5 point something, that means... We found something. We found something. But for now, I guess we'll read the... What age was it? The... Age of Mist. The Age of... The Selenic Age of Mist. So, Semitic? Selenic? The, the Semitic. It's the, it's the Jewish Age of Mist, I guess. That makes sense to me. It has been a while since I've heard only silence. And I enjoy it greatly, I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But I go, how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It's, of course, only in my dementia-riddled head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the gassy hills... Grassy. Where I, gassy. Grassy. <laughs> They'll be gassy here in a moment. I can see green fields below along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing. Yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh and the sky is sparkled with white clouds like little diamonds of fluff. It is absolutely breathtaking. And yet, that strange feeling again. Perhaps it's the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Odder than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin and I feel quite un... Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I'll try to ignore it because that's how you, ignore, that's how you get rid of problems. Ignoring them. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. It's called benign neglect. That uh, too. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still grows, glows red long past the sunset. I think this is a volcano. Oh my. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the night sky. Again, the feeling, the volcano doesn't want me here. And I'm beginning to believe it's not all in my mind. I must sleep now that the volcano knows I'm here. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to return home to, a, to an unpredictable natural occurrence, more frightening than I have ever experienced. Tax day? Ah, uh, that too. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky. Libertarian tax day. And I immediately left in fear of my life. And cap tax day. I was going to say communist tax day. <laughs> I don't know. It could be an anarcho capitalist. Good. I must remember to bring a mislinking book with me when I return. Because occasionally I like to just strand myself in locations, unable to return. In case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I need to stop doing that. Gotta click on the page. <laughs> <laughs> I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strange enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the following meters did not hit this area, leaving a single oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has burned, turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. But what if this was actually a planet that got glass from the Covenant in the Halo series? And now he's just like stepping in randomly. He's like, whoa. Or got glassed from the uh, Warhammer 40k series. Exactly. Someone's had some heavy heresy there. 
Oh, it's a heresy. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. Heresy. However, another lake now exists. Definitely. How heresy. can I tell it's a different lake? I don't know. It could be in a different location. Uh, it does appear to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the following meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like a desert. Although I'll verify that statement with closer inspection. Yep, this is sand. I hate sand. It's this coarse. is also sad. It's rough. It's irritating. Here's and more it gets sand. Everywhere. Would you like some sand? No, it's coarse, it's rough, it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. I'll rub it in your pocket. It uh, gets everywhere! I'll just pour it in there. There you go. You have some sand now. You know, the Great War <laughs> channel, they actually did. They uh, did a prequel meme with, like, the sand is coarse, rough, and it gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. They did that in one of their official episodes. Awesome. They, yeah, they, someone asked a question, it's like, so, did the, do they have tanks in the Middle East when they're fighting, you know, in, the, like, the Levant area? And did the tankers complain about it? And I'm like, I actually thought to myself, you know, that'd be actually a pretty good place for a episode two quote. But there's no way they're going to do that, because they're professional here. And then they photoshopped Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones in front of a Mark I. <laughs> it's like, start talking about how it's coarse, it's rough, it gets here. Or I'm like, nope, they're as professional as I thought they would be. <laughs> This world has little visual excitement to offer, but it does offer much to the ears. Sounds constantly flew through my ears, not into them, and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything, including a twisted hellscape full of plasma and demons devouring young children. Doom 2016? Yeah. Making it, another one. Really? Yep. Why? Money. Last night, I was awakened by a horrible hissing. Thank you for the hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. Where the freak did the stream come from? I still don't know where the stream came from. It's a desert barren. There's a stream. Okay. The hot breeze had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. We're all going to die. RSC number two. I walked a short distance to observe more red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then... I feel like this isn't a, an experience, it's just him having a fever dream. Then the turbulence subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. A whole new world... With flaming love and chasm spews. There's lots of fire here and lava too. Did I mention lava again? Okay. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I have also looked for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different than when I return. It is also important that I check on Cyrus and Akana and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope back to bring back some tools that I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw material here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. 
I assumed I would have to return for some basic materials, however. It seems as though I'll be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. Naturally, I am surprised. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything, I don't know how he's pulling titanium ore out of the earth. No, no, straight titanium. It's not even an ore, it's just raw titanium. I know. How is he getting it? Is he just like lifting up a sheet of metal that he found? It's like, it's titanium! It obviously occurred here naturally! It could be like uh, gold chunks, but made of titanium. True. Although, from what I remember of titanium, it's got a very high melting point. Yes, it does. Tungsten steel is one of the few things that has a higher. And tungsten's toxic. You should totally lick it. Everything is set, and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I'll be able to have most of my additions to this age complete within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. Well, and I have decided... So, magnets are messed up, and he's making a radar dish to spot the Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe bombers from coming in. Three meters is not enough support for the beams, although amazingly strong. Then the rocket ship. It's a diving submersible. Is it? Yep. Diving. Huh. Okay. It's a submersible then. One of my worst prized invent... Extra could never have imagined it to come together quite... I doubt... Could possibly work with 14 instead of completely fatigued. I am so happy to have tomorrow. I am leaving today in order to bring back Cyrus and Akhenar to the Death Planet. <laughs> I've left them alone in Channelwood, and I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have finally stabilized. I believe the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust and exploding like missiles. But the tremors have become fewer and fewer. I have also noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered at another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my piano playing accomplishments. <laughs> I believe I already drew a picture of that. We did for one of the failed recordings the first time. Yep. Well, here's an island caused by a meteor. Ah, uh, I need to stop doing that. Nope. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. So that was uh, that was Age of Mist. Selenic. Can you get closer to the bookshelf. Nope. We'll call it Selenic. Huh. Well, thank you for joining us in another wonderful book reading. Yep. We'll be seeing you next episode where we'll talk about other stuff. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This has been Joseph. And Jeremy.